Great. Welcome everyone to the launch of the second strategic plan for the Africa Academy for Public Health. My name is Mark Elliott and I'm Vice Provost for International Affairs at Harvard University. In that capacity, I have the honor of serving as chair of the board of directors of the AAPH and in that role, it falls to me the pleasure of welcoming you all here today. I had hoped to be present to deliver these remarks in person, but alas, for reasons that uh, hardly need explaining anymore, that has not been possible. Allow me to begin in this format by recognizing the presence of a number of distinguished guests who are joining us for this launch today, including the Honorable Umi Molimu, Member of Parliament and the Tanzanian Minister of Health, Ambassador Dr. Donald Wright of the United States of America, and Professor Abel Makubi, Permanent Secretary for the Ministry of Health in the Government of Tanzania. Let me also welcome my colleague and friend, Professor Wafai Fauzi of the Harvard Chan School, who gave us the inspiration for creating AAPH, as well as Professor Till Bernighausen, Professor and Director of the Heidelberg Institute of Global Health at the Faculty of Medicine at the High University of Heidelberg, whose contributions over many years have been vital to the success of AAPH. I'd also like to welcome the faculty representatives of partner institutions in the ARISE network, representatives of the various research and academic institutions who are here today, the directors of government and international organizations, as well as the chief executive officers of those organizations who are joining us. I hope that my remote participation in today's launch will not be understood as signaling any kind of remoteness in the relationship between Harvard and the AAPH. As the university's chief international officer, I can attest to the very strong support that AAPH receives from Harvard including from the university's senior leaders, President Lawrence Bacow and Provost Alan Garber, along with Dean Michelle Williams of the Harvard Chan School of Public Health. For them, as for me, it is clear that the AAPH contributes in important ways to furthering Harvard's mission to educate and to develop and disseminate new knowledge in the name of changing the world for the better. Few areas of research showcase the importance of these efforts then public health itself, something that the pandemic that has engulfed us all has made us more acutely aware than ever before. The Africa Academy for Public Health was established in 2009. Uh, its mission is to address public health challenges in sub-Saharan Africa through innovative scientific research, training and capacity building and knowledge translation. I want to stress that AAPH is not Harvard venturing forth on its own into the world. AAPH is a partnership that has evolved organically out of numerous research collaborations between faculty and students at the Harvard Chan School and hospitals and public health research and training institutions in Tanzania and elsewhere. This relationship began more than 40 years ago and has developed stronger ties, ties in particular over the last 20 years through large joint discovery and translation research and training programs. Among other things, AAPH can, aims to contribute to the cultivation of a cadre of local public health professionals who are equipped to ad address identified gaps in the system for healthcare delivery. AAPH provides a platform for North-South and South-South learning to develop collaborative and sustainable research and programs with the aim of benefiting population health, both in Tanzania and in the wider Sub-Saharan region. In the six years that I have been involved with the AAPH and in my visits to DAR and to different research sites around the country, I have seen for myself the difference that this work has made. I am proud of the contributions that all the outstanding research and support staff have made to addressing public health needs in the region and particularly proud of the evidence-based approach that relies on meticulous, careful science, which has informed all of this work. For these reasons, it's very exciting to see the organization grow 
as it is. The second strategic plan that we are launching today heralds the many ways in which AAPH seeks to build on its record of success. As you will see, and as you will hear, this includes continued improvement of health systems, advancing the partnerships and collaborations that have been a hallmark of AAPH activity, and doing even more to facilitate the translation of research into improvements in policy and practice. I know well the excellence and professionalism of everyone associated with AAPH, and I greatly admire their dedication. I can promise you that AAPH has the full backing of the university as it sets forth on this new plan, and I am confident that with your support, the organization will be able to realize the goals set forth in the strategic plan with results that we will all be able to take pride in, results that will benefit the people of Tanzania and that will benefit the greater, greater research enterprise of which Harvard is part. Let me conclude by thanking all AAPH collaborators and partners, especially the government of Tanzania for your dedication to working together to improve public health. Let me also thank the US government and the American Embassy in Tanzania for its substantial support of AAPH over the years and its many partnerships, support that has taken many forms. And finally, let me thank everybody at the AAPH itself, in particular, Executive Director Mary Monica Sando for all the hard work that they have put in over the years, many long hours, made even more difficult in the last couple of years, but hard work that is clearly bearing fruit. Again, welcome to today's launch and thank you all for coming to join us today on this memorable occasion.